Hi guys and welcome to Escape Wheel Watch Reviews. My name is Steve and today we're going to be reviewing the newest Pagani design, the PD1751. So I received this watch for free from the Pagani Design flagship store on AliExpress. I don't have to send the watch back, but you know the deal by now. That's not going to sway my review one way or the other. The current retail price for this watch is about 120 US dollars, but you can see, I mean, right now, if you click that link down below, we are in the middle of 1111 and those sales are great and you can get this thing for under $100. I'm also going to drop a, uh, a discount code right down here, escape wheel one, that'll get you an extra $5 off, I believe only during this 1111 sale. So, uh, just keep that in mind. I believe it runs from, uh, November 1st to November 12th. So, yeah, that escape one or escape wheel one, uh, that'll get you five bucks off during this time. And also keep in mind that uh, if you are in the US or in the EU, uh, you can benefit from really quick shipping. They have warehouses in those locations and you can get these watches in like five days. So just keep that in mind. It's really a, a nice perk to have from Pagani Design. I uh, love that they're starting to branch out and get into uh, you know these other countries so you can benefit from quick shipping. I mean, that's that's a one of the main drawbacks of AliExpress is the long wait times. So uh, yeah, I got a watch from Pagani Design just the other day, shipped from New Jersey, and it got to me in three days. So, I mean, that's pretty hard to beat, right? Uh, so very happy that they are now in my country a little bit and also in the EU. Uh, so this watch is currently only available in this black colorway that you see here. Hopefully, uh, maybe in the future, they will release some other colors. I know they've done that in the past with some other watches. So uh, just keep an eye out for it if you're not a fan of the black. The watch case and bracelet are made of 316L stainless steel. It has a sapphire crystal, screw down crown, screw down case back, 200 meters of claimed water resistance, and is powered by the Seiko NH35 automatic movement. So I've had this watch on wrist for a few days now, and uh, overall it's been a good experience. I, I come to know what to expect from Pagani Design. I've had so many of their watches over the last couple years, and yeah, I just know what to expect from them. And this one's not really any different. There's no real surprises. There's no real letdowns. Um, yeah, it's about on par with some of their other stuff. I do think they're kind of starting to refine a couple little things here and there, so I will mention that throughout the review. Uh, but yeah, I think... Uh, I think it's a great package, especially for under $100 that you're getting a great go anywhere, do anything watch. And I think you guys are going to be pretty happy with it. So I say we get right to the review, but before I do do a quick wrist check, get the San Martin SN 0054 review for this will be coming. Not sure I can get to it before 1111, uh, but they actually just released a NH 38 or sorry, NH 34 version of this watch. So, um, yeah, that's kind of cool. A lower price version of this one. Um, so yeah, just, uh, go check that out. All right, let's get to the dimensions. So this is listed as a 36 millimeter watch. You got the diameter of 36.4 and a thickness of 13.9, the 20 millimeter lug width, the bracelet tapers down to 16 at the clasp. The overall length of the watch is 44.1. It does have female end links, so that's the length of it. It's sized up for my seven and a half inch wrist with three links removed. It weighs just under 122 grams. So it's a really great size. I think that 36 and a half, almost 37 millimeters, uh, and then, you know, really short 44 lug to lug. It is almost 14 millimeters thick. You can see there, you got lots of, uh, lots of crystal there. And then you also have a pretty thick case back. I'm not sure why they made it that thick, but um, I, I, I got to say it, it actually wears pretty good for how thick it is. It, it hides it well, I'll say that. And that's mostly because the mid case is pretty slim and it does curve down pretty good. So, uh, yeah, I think it wears pretty good. So I'm going to go outside right now and throw it on my wrist for you. And here it is on my seven and a half inch wrist. And you can see it wears pretty good. I mean, it's a little small on me, um, but I don't think it looks too small. Uh, I think it wears, you know, fairly substantial for its case size. Uh, and that is definitely helped by the tall crystal, by the thick case back. And you can see here, there's how it wears on my wrist. And I think the, the curvature just kind of soaks up that, that almost 14 millimeter thickness. And I think it wears pretty good for its dimensions. Uh, personally, I think it, I think it, yeah, I think it wears great. Um, lots of reflections off of that crystal, as you can see, but I'm right under a nice big tree. So, uh, yeah, it's going to look worse on, uh, on camera than it does in person. Uh, I think it looks pretty good. 
and here we are in some kind of direct sunlight. It's really hard to uh, get it right now. It's a little cloudy, but I did find a sliver. And here you can see, I mean, it's still pretty legible. It is uh, very reflective simply because it's a glossy dial and then you've got the sapphire crystal over top of it. But there's plenty of AR coating on it. And uh, I think it does a pretty good job of keeping the dial mostly legible. And yeah, I think that looks pretty good. But I'm gonna go throw this on a bunch of straps and we'll get back to the review. And here we are on a brown suede strap. This is listed down below. This is the camel color for those interested. And I think that looks pretty good. This is kind of what I've been wearing it on mostly. I like the look of that. What do you guys think? And here we are on a vintage leather strap listed down below. Nice texture to the strap. Tan color stitching goes with the hands and indices. I think that looks pretty good. What do you guys think? Yeah, I like that a lot, actually. You can see nice curvature of those lugs, too. And here we are on a nice black rubber strap from Straps Co. And that looks pretty good. Um, yeah, I like it. I think I like the leather better, but yeah, that does look pretty nice. And there's just a perfect match with a sand-colored purlon strap. Link is down below for this one. And again, that looks really good. I mean, the color match on that is just perfect. Sorry about all these reflections. This is probably the worst spot to <laughs> to film this watch. But, uh, yeah, it, it definitely doesn't look that bad in person. Just uh, trust me on that one. Um, but, yeah, that does look really good. What do you guys think? I'm going to go throw it on one line here. We are on a simple khaki-colored nylon strap with two layers underneath the watch there you can see it's it still wears perfectly fine in my opinion uh, maybe up just a little bit high but it doesn't look too bad actually i think that actually looks fine still um so yeah what do you guys think i think it adds a little bit of bulk so looks a little bit better on my seven and a half inch wrist but uh yeah i do like the look of that one all right let's go back inside and let's go back to this review All right, so let's talk about the case finishing. And the case finishing is actually pretty good. And I think this is kind of where they stepped it up just a little bit. I think the vertical brushing on the tops of the lugs here are really nicely done. Um, yeah, I think that's a little bit nicer than some of the other uh, Paganis that I've seen recently. And he, I, I mean, they, they just kind of, they did a really good job on it. I'm, I'm pretty impressed. You have polishing on the sides here, as you can see right there really nicely done again no real issues with the polishing sometimes you get those little peaks and valleys that we like to talk about and this one is actually pretty smooth and pretty consistent throughout i think they did a pretty good job you can see a little bit on the bezel right here right by the crown there uh, you can see those little peaks and valleys that we talk about here and there but uh yeah they they did a pretty good job on the bezel as well and i think it looks overall overall i think the case finishing is really nice and it's got a nice sheen to it that's what I noticed when I first brought it out of the package is that it, it just shines just a little bit nicer than some of their other stuff. So I think they did kind of refine their brushing process here. Uh, the crown, it's your typical Pagani design crown. It's a little long for my, my taste. Uh, they could have shortened that down just a little bit, uh, but it is signed and it's nicely, you know, the diameter of it is good and the grip on it is good. We'll talk about it in a little bit. Um, but yeah, I think overall the case finishing on this thing, it's done pretty well. Uh, I don't see any major uh, flaws with it. In flipping it around, you can see the screw down case back. It is an exhibition case back. We'll test that for Sapphire in just a second. Uh, but it's got your typical spec sheet around the outside, your model number down here, uh, right down here. And then you've got circular brushing on the bottom of the lugs. Um, simple notches to get a tool in there if you ever want to mess with the NH35. Uh, I think it's a great case back. I got no issues with it. All right, let's test these crystals for sapphire. So the front crystal is sapphire and the back crystal is sapphire. So that's really nice to see, especially for the price you get a crystal or you get sapphire on the front, sapphire on the back. The front crystal is, like I mentioned earlier, extremely domed, super high dome there you can see, but it's very nice and clear at the extreme angles. You get lots of distortion right on the edges. It's it's a great crystal. There's plenty of blue and air reflective coating. It's not annoyingly blue, I don't think. Um, so yeah, I think it's a pretty good crystal and it, it does a good job of keeping this dial uh, as clean as it can be. I mean, it's a very reflective dial. 
covered by a very reflective crystal type. So I think the AR coating does help quite a bit and it keeps the dial nice and legible. I've got no real issues with the crystal other than I think it's a little unnecessarily tall. You know, I would mention that 14 millimeters thickness. Uh, there's probably a good, I don't know, two to three millimeters just in the crystal. Um, and that's probably not necessary. Uh, I really don't know. I'd like to see a cross section of this watch just to see uh, where they could slim it down a little bit. But uh, otherwise, I, I think it's a perfectly fine crystal and it does a really good job. I think it looks pretty cool as well. And uh, yeah, it's nice. All right, let's talk about the dial on this thing. And the dial is absolutely gorgeous. Uh, you can see here, it's an inky, just, just inky dark black. Um, it looks incredible. It looks really, really nice. I see no waviness in the dial or anything, which is pretty tough on a dial like this, I think. The indices and the numerals, they're all printed. And getting up really close here, you can see they do have just a tiny bit of depth to them. Um, but yeah, they're, they're nicely printed, I think. They got a little bit of texture to them as well, which you can't really see under, uh, you know, looking on your wrist or anything like that. But they do look pretty good. Uh, nice and crisp, and I, I like the color of them. I think they match the hands pretty good. I mean, you can see right here, it looks pretty pretty darn good, I think. Uh, so kudos to Pagani Design for getting the loom on the dial and the loom on the hands to match. The shield logo here it is gold which matches everything else on the dial and again i think it looks really good simple automatic 200 meters down at six japan movement um yeah i mean no surprises here from pagani design i think it's a very well executed dial the dark glossy black is just awesome though it looks really really cool uh, the handset on this really nicely done again i see no issues with them they're not anything fancy they're not faceted they're not brushed or anything like that just fully polished hands but nicely sized reaching right out to the minute track same with that second hand with the red tip on it nicely done i got no issues with that popping up a loom shot here and you can see the loom against the san martin of the same style and uh, it just gets destroyed it's not good loom uh, it's kind of what i expected from pagani design unfortunately uh, I was hoping they would surprise us a little bit, but uh, I mean, at least it looks good during the day, but not so much at night. And that's just one of the letdowns of a Pagani design is the loom is always uh, not very good. All right, so let's talk about the movement on this thing. And the movement is running great for me. I'm going to pop up the time graphic shot here and it's running about normal, maybe a little bit fast for the NH35, but not too bad. Definitely acceptable. 10 seconds a day. I'm happy with that. Uh, I've got no issues with it. Good beat error as well. Um, but yeah, it's the Seiko NH35 automatic movement. It hacks, hand winds, 21,600 beats per hour, about 40 hours of power reserve. It does everything you need it to do. It's cheap. It's reliable. You got plenty of parts for it. Service cost is uh, about the cost of the movement, which you can get for about $40. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's super easy to work with. I love it. The movement is operated by this three o'clock screw down crown. The screw out action, the screw in action, really nice. I've come to expect that from Pagani, it's nice and smooth. Uh, you get a nice constant pop out as well. Uh, the first position here is your hand winding. Again, nice and smooth. Second position is a ghost date position. And I can hear it clicking around back there. And then you got your third position, which hacks the movement. And this is where you set your time. Again, nice, solid feeling. The crown is nice and solid as well. There's no play in that. Um, it engages when you press it in. I mean, it's, it's, it's great. I've had no issues with the movement. And again, the threading is also really nice. I got no problems with it. The crown, again, it's a little tall. But other than that, I think it, uh, I think it looks pretty good. Uh, they just could just, just shorten that down. Maybe just... Uh, a millimeter or two and i think it would look a lot better um but yeah as it is the movement is great i haven't had any problems with it all right so let's talk about the bracelet on this thing and the bracelet is actually pretty good uh, i see no major issues with the bracelet either it's kind of your typical bracelet if you've had one of these female end link bracelets in the last six months it's the same setup so you have female end links which do follow the curvature of the case really nicely actually very impressed with that solid fitment in here as well there's no wobble you get your first female end link it does kind of get hung up a little bit here and there but uh, usually when it's on the wrist it's not an issue at all um, it goes from 20 millimeters down to 16 millimeters it is full solid links three links polished on the sides 
you have screw pins for adjusting. I had to remove three links for my seven and a quarter inch wrist. You've got your typical Pagani design clasp brushed on the top, which is pretty nicely done. And then polished on the sides. These corners are again, a little sharp. I'd like to see them kind of hone those down a little bit, uh, but otherwise I think it's a fine clasp. This one works pretty good. Uh, flip lock here, and then you just lift right there and that opens it up fully milled inners. The tolerances on these inner parts are pretty good. They're not terrible. Uh, same here, pretty good, but not terrible. Um, and then you've got three levels of micro adjust right here, which you have to access through this extended, uh, this easy link thing here. Uh, you can, once you have it open, you can get a spring bar tool in there, right in that little, right in that little hole there. It's kind of a pain in the butt. Uh, I will, I will say that, um, these, flip locks here, these easy links. Uh, They're also a pain, really stiff. Uh, sometimes they don't work at all, so just be aware. This one, uh, it has loosened up. It was it was quite, quite stiff right out of the box, but it has loosened up a little bit. Um, but yeah, I think overall the bracelet is kind of what you expect from Pagani. But I do think, again, that they kind of brought over that finishing from the case. I think they brought it over to the bracelet. It does just have a, a little bit better sheen than what I've seen on some of the other ones. Um, mainly the, you know, the PD-1723 and, uh, you know, stuff like that. Uh, I think this one shines just a little bit better. So it does look like a nicer package overall. So whatever they're doing, they need to keep doing that. I think it looks really good. Uh, it's just a, just a slight step up from what they had before. Um, but yeah, the, the bracelet is fine. It's got a little bit of flex in it. It's been comfortable. It's not sharp on this bottom edge or anything like that. It was easy to size, uh, plenty of links to remove as well. So overall, I'm pretty happy with the bracelet. And I, I love that it's got the female end links. It's going to fit small wrists really nicely. And uh, yeah, I think it's a good bracelet for, especially for the price. I mean, $100, it's, it's solid links, solid end links. Uh, what more do you want? So there you go, guys. That is the Pagani Design PD1751, new release from Pagani Design. Pretty much, uh, you know, same old, same old from Pagani Design. You're getting a lot of bang for your buck, $100. You're getting a really cool sapphire crystal, a reliable movement, a solid bracelet, good case finishing, even, you know, even stepping up the case finishing just a little bit. Um, you know, the, the really the only letdown of this watch is the loom. Um, and that's pretty much it. I mean, everything else is really, really good. Um, so yeah, I think if you guys are interested in this, you will be pretty happy with it as long as you go in knowing that the loom is pretty bad. Uh, so go down, click on that link down below, get it in the 1111 sale. Don't forget about my code escape wheel one. That should get you an extra $5 off. Also make sure if you are in the U S or in the EU, you choose the right shipping. Uh, it should do it automatically for you. Uh, but in case it doesn't just verify that you are getting it shipped from your country. Uh, should save the EU people some taxes or VAT, whatever it is. Uh, and it definitely will save the U.S. customers some time. So, um, yeah, go check them out, guys. Uh, I like what they're doing here. I like the new finishing. If this is a new finishing, uh, keep on doing what you're doing, Pagani, because I think the finishing is great. Um, I think that's about it, though. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. See ya.